great question was asked about how to have an event as a business. Seems like a very simple thing and a logical thing you'd want to do as a business. But you'll notice that by default, it's not over here. There's no real logical way to create an event for a business. So you have to, once again, be a little tricky in Facebook. Come up here to the upper right-hand corner of your wall of your business and edit the page. Then you come over on the left-hand side to Apps and you go over to the Events app that you'll see here. This is an app that is just available to businesses, but it's not a default app. So you want to come in here, you want to add this app, and it just says Added. You say OK, and then go view your page. You'll notice now that there is the Events tab. So I say, great, I don't have any events as a business, but I'm going to create one. So I'm going to create an event, and I am planning to have cake. I think that would be a great event. And uh, we're going to do it at the Give Me Office. If I wanted to add a street address or anything else, I would do that. Um, but I'm sorry, I can't provide cake, so bring your own cake, please. And if you can share with me, that would be awesome. Anyway, we don't want people to stick around too long. We just want them to bring their cake and then go away. So we'll come down here and we'll end that event at 10 p.m. on the same day so that it's not too big of an event and uh, you can add an event photo if that's what you want to do um, and then you can select the guests you want to invent or invite not invent um, but instead of doing that just go ahead and create the event and as a business you have a cool option that's a little bit different than as an individual you can just update the fans of Gimme Creative or of your business um, by clicking here and so if you want to invite all of your fans it's great. You can just put the subject in here. Please come have cake. Bring some too. And you can attach whatever you need to if you need to do that. And you can send that out. Now if you don't want everyone to come, we don't want to make everybody feel bad who lives too far away and they can't come have cake. So we may want to limit our location to just our city. So we only want to invite our fans who are in American Fork, Utah and we're okay with everybody coming male and female and all ages are great if they bring cake they can come at that point you just hit send and all of your fans are going to get an invitation to your party or whatever that event happens to be for you um, if you don't want to invite them you just cancel out of that but the reality is that now I have created an event inside of uh, my business and so that can be a problem because I just decided that Oh man, I can't have cake with everybody because I've got to go home and uh, have cake with my family. So I need to cancel this event. So I come back over to events. There's my big party happening tonight to have cake. You click on that event, open it up, and at this point you're going to want to edit your event. So I need to change it to not happen. And it's hidden right over here in the right hand side. So we want to cancel this event. And it'll tell everyone who we invited to the event that it's canceled. Sorry, I am on a diet. So, making my excuse, I'm getting out. Are you sure you want to cancel the event? It cannot be undone. We say, okay, please cancel the event. And the event is gone. So, it always dumps you back off to your personal events because those are linked. As I mentioned in the beginning, you can't really separate those out. But you can actually get access to all the fans of your page uh, by using that method. Hopefully that makes sense, and if you want to start adding events as your business, it'll be easy to do. From then on, it's always just right there on your list of items. Have a great day. Hope it's been helpful.